Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to do the Still Alive achievement, which is going through course 4 of Portal 2 Co-op without dying. And today I'm going to be doing it solo, so I'm controlling both characters that you see throughout the whole video. And at some points you'll see me move both of them, and that's just because I'm, I'm kind of good at moving two controllers at once. But we'll, we'll start at, you know, level 1, which is relatively easy level. I think you can do it in about four or five portals. So what I'm going to do here is get player one to go up, just start that kind of tractor beam thing. Player two is going to come up, jump in it, put this next portal up here, which is his red portal that he's come out of. So just got to remember that it's red, so that when I drop down, I can push the red one again, and player one will get caught in that red one, and we finish level one relatively easy. Yep, we'll just uh, stick around here for a bit. Sorry, the end bit takes a bit longer than usual because I'm controlling one character. <coughs> Alright, level two, or course two, or stage 2, whatever you want to call it, is just as easy as the first one. you just got to know where to put the portals and what to do with each character. So what I've done there is I've, you know, created a beam to catch character 2 and then I've moved it a little bit to the side so that he goes into that top area. Now I've set him up so that when he presses the button, it's going to catch in the uh, beam that character 1 just made. So I'm just going to run character 1 to the end here to save a bit of time later. So character 2 has just pressed the button, the ball's fallen, you can see the ball up there. And out it comes, it's going to block that beam, and the door's going to open, and we finish level 2. It's a pretty easy one, you shouldn't have any hassles with that. I don't think there's any way you can really die in that level, unless you um jump in the launch pad and you haven't created like a beam to catch you, but you got to be pretty stupid not to do that, so don't worry about it. Alright, level 3 is a, a bit of a fun one. It's kind of the first confusing level in terms of playing two players on your own because you have to press buttons on each control at the same time. Do you see what I'm doing there? I'm lining it up with player one. So he's gonna, like player one's gonna set his portal there and drop into the one below him while at the same time player two creates another one which catches him. I mean it, it, it might seem a little confusing but once you, you kind of look at the logistics it's really easy. So player one's gonna drop that cube and then player two will go over and grab it again after he sets up his next little run of portals. So yeah, player two is going to run over here, grab that cube, put it on the, uh, the switch over there, and then he's going to do the same thing that player one did. Oh, that's not here. He's going to put that up there, and then one on the ground here. He's going to line up that angled one so he hits the wall once he falls down through it. And at the same time, play one, he's gonna create the beam for him to fall in. And look, that's nice and easy. Okay, play one, you just run off, leave play two there, you jerk. Oh look, there he goes.
Alright, level 4 is one of the, the more interesting ones. It can be a little tricky if you're not so sure what's going on. But, um, like once you figure it out, it's actually a really easy level. But what player 1 just did there is he created a portal in line so that when the cube falls, it's going to get caught by that portal. You'll notice in a little bit. And player 2 has a bit of trouble here bit retarded, he can't get in the hole, but he works it out in the end. Yep, just to, yeah, there you go. <coughs> there, he'll go and, and press the button and the cube will fall into the beam there. Oh, well, look, there it is. I'll just jump in because I like doing that. And there's the beam. Oh, a little bit of trouble getting in the hole again. There you go. Alright, and what I do up here, I drop the cube and just kind of make some move portals just so I don't confuse myself with the laser, because I often do that, I'm pretty retarded. But yeah, I put it down, make it nice and straight, and create my yellow portal. And then I'll fall down here, and I'll get player one again, who is going to create our exit point, so to speak. Alright, so we fall into this the beam, go in there, player 2 will follow, and I'll wait until both of them go into this far wall, so we're right next to each other, and player 1 is going to move us to the very end of the level here, and player 2 is going to create his exit portal, so that the laser comes out from over there, that was the yellow, so I'll create the red one there, and it goes in there, and we have finished the level quite easy and I think that we're gonna dance here for some reason I don't not really sure why it did it every time that I finished this level but yeah bit of fun but yeah that was a nice easy level and a bit of lag there for some reason You'll see my silhouette there every time that it goes dark. Just ignore that. Anyway, number five. This one is another really easy one, as long as you figure out what's going on. I kind of didn't do it properly this time, but it's not too hard to recover. I realized that I put the wrong person in the teleporter. Which is a bit of a hassle, but it's really easy to fix, as you'll see that I do coming up. So I'll grab the cube here. Oh, well wait, no, wait. Yeah, I fix my, my thing. The person who puts the portals has to go in to the portals. So he'll go in the beam, and then player one now will reverse the beams. And I drop the cube, so it's travelling without me. And what I want to do is hit that wall there, which I just looked at. But I'll see it again in a sec up there. Bang. And then I get off the portal, so I go back the normal way. And that will make the cube go into the switch at the top of the level. So that'll go in, I'll drop down, and... Oh, look, player one's already waiting. And we finished the level just like that. And for some reason, player two just got caught there. Not really sure what happened. But that's uh, not really a hassle, so I just ignore that. And we'll jump in our hole. Player one, you can come down, jump in your hole as well after you shoot the wall a few times. And that is that level done as well. Number six is another really easy level. Get play one to make the portal so that the beam comes through there and make sure that play two goes through it because your portal will break when you go through that little blue barrier back there and you'll die if you go towards that eye over there, just to let you know. But anyway, 
make a beam on that wall, a portal on that wall over there, and your other one at the top, the player two, and you will go through that wall and sail very easily over to the end point of the level. And well, I didn't quite line up my sight there, but yeah, nice and easy. And I'll, I'll line up player one so he's in line to get the next portal, which I am about to shoot now. Yep, now so player two reverses it, player one can go through. Now he does the exact same thing that player two just did. So he jumps into the portal, puts his one on the roof, and as player two gets off the portal, player one will be sucked into the same spot that he is in right now. So a very easy level. You shouldn't have any troubles with this. Just make sure that that, that first one as you get off the starting platform you you make sure you change portals because otherwise you'll fall into the uh, spiky door thing and you don't want that because obviously you have to not die for this achievement Alright, number 7 is a kind of fun level. It involves a little bit of thinking, but you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Player 1 goes in the room, puts one at the top and one over there, and jumps on the switch. Player 2, he's meant to put one there, but I'm pretty retarded, so I didn't. But anyway, one on that wall, one on the floor there, and then into the switch, so I jump into the beam I just made. I will then be carried into that beam with the idea that I want to get to that switch on the right there. And I'll jump on it now. What that does is it pulls down that wall up there. I'll show you again. That, there it goes. So I pull down that wall so that I can use that as a portal surface. And I use that to jump up in a second with player one. And there he goes. Now player one just has to simply walk over to the edge over here. And well, I don't want to put that, that's a bit of a mistake. But I put the portal down there. And one on the vertical wall. Yeah, that one. While player two walks through, jumps off on the next platform and gets onto the surface there. That player one then hits again. And player two comes up to safety with player one. Oh look there he is. And that's that level done really easy again. Alright, coming up is level 8, which is probably the hardest level to do if you don't know how if you don't know the shortcut for it. But I'll show you how to do the shortcut now, which cuts the level down considerably in time and makes it pretty easy to do one player. So anyway, usually you'd go through that whole, you know, machine area behind the glass there, but you don't have to do that. What you do is you put those two portals there and you jump up into this tractor beam, go right to the top, and you want to jump on that little white area that I just passed there. And you'll notice that the, the screen kind of merges a little bit here. That's just because I went to have dinner between making this video. So you don't want to see 10 minutes of me sitting in one area. But anyway, there's a little glass ledge thing that you can jump on on the left here. And hopefully, oh wait, no, I don't get it this time, but the next time I get it, and you can land on this glass edge and walk along the glass edge and you can hit the portal behind the next wall, which pretty much just bypasses that whole hard bit of the level that you have to do and makes it a lot easier because I, I couldn't do this on my own normally, but see, oh, I could get on the ledge and then I'll get on the next one, hopefully. Yep, there I go. And then I shoot it up there. And, yep, I've got a portal up there, which is awesome. 
So now I can kind of cheat and get the um the cube out from there without having to go through that whole side of the level. So I'll get player two to do his little thing here so that player one can get back up to the starting area. That's player one. There he goes. And he will... Oh, that's the light blue, so I'll put the dark blue down here. And the cube will slowly, very slowly come out of that area. And the turret will die because it's just retarded. So the cube comes out of there. And I'm going to put a portal down on the floor here. So that the cube comes up through the floor. And I'm going to jump in with it. And what I'm going to do is create a portal on that platform right there. So that we like both myself and the cube fall through that platform into the other side. And for some reason it didn't work for me there. So I'll quickly jump up again and do it. But you'll see that once I do it, I'll fall through that that surface and I will shoot over there where the cube already is. Right now, look, ooh. Awesome, that's super fun. So yeah, I'll put the cube on the little pad here and the level was finished once I get player 2 to do the same thing, which he will. Two is just doing his thing. Sure. Alright, that's section eight done, which is, in my opinion, the hardest one to do. I mean, like, nine is pretty hard if you don't know the shortcut, but yeah, that one sucked doing it on my own until I found that little trick at the end to kind of bypass the whole thing. But anyway, oh, camera went a bit shaky there. But anyway, make sure that player 2 is holding right on the stick as soon as you start this level. Because he will get shot by those turrets if not. But player 1 can easily take them out once you've finished that first little bit. You know, just block them off. Create a, a portal there. And bam, they're all dead. Or hopefully. Oh wait. Now they're all dead. Once I pick up this guy. Okay. So, what player 1 is going to do here is create a portal right up the top there and one at ground level so that I can jump into that area there where the beam is. Didn't quite work but it doesn't matter. Play 2 is now going to create the beam from there all the way out to the little conveyor belt construction line thing off to the side. I'll, I'll hopefully try and point at it here. There you go. So you just want to hit that panel and then you walk through play one's beam, jump onto the side, and you'll be able to get in there and jump out here. Alright, so when you jump off your little tractor beam, you want to go up at a little bit of an angle so you don't fall straight down. But once you're on this conveyor belt, on the side, you can just walk freely across the whole thing, which is awesome because you can bypass the whole level on this. So I'm just going to walk along here, and that's the wall that you teleport off at the end. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave player 2 there while player 1 does the same thing. He's going to jump through, come in the little tractor beam, and up at an angle off onto the thing. And he gets caught a little bit here, but that's alright. Because once you get to the side, you don't have to worry about the little platforms, and you can just walk across the whole thing. Just do 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 all the way to the end. And then I think player two is going to create the beam. Yep. That we're both going to jump in and just walk off to the side into the finishing area. Let's see, player two is in there. Player one will about to jump in there. Yep, there he is. So he's in there. He's going to go grab the floppy disk, wherever it is. There it is. Just gonna jump over there, put it in, 
gonna watch the little animation of us getting killed and there is the achievement this is the first time that I did it so both characters are gonna get the achievement which is awesome because my girlfriend's gonna be happy that I got it for her because she's not gonna get it 